I'm not gonna let like three people in my life destroy me. It's gonna be so good. Like you're literally not gonna wanna miss this. This is the outfit of the day. We just have some basic Zara jeans and this really 100% cashmere nude top. Like it's so cute. I got it for five pounds in the charity shop. What a bargain! We're just pairing it with this really cute ruby crystal ring. Uh, I don't know where it's from. I think it was my grandma's, sorry. And then this necklace set from somewhere. These three sack necklaces are from Annie Rosewood, London. I got it at their sample sale. And if you don't know, I used to work at this luxury designer sample sale. Like my first week there, we did a Dior sample sale and we weren't allowed to tell anyone because it was top secret. And you're not meant to know that Dior and LVMH do sample sales. So, whoops. So I'm just been put onto sample sales and I really like these necklaces, they're so cute. And then of course, we've got these rainbow Nike shoes. Actually, they're from the kids section because my feet actually fit kids shoes, which is weird because I'm UK six and a half, which some people call that big foot. I am a small girl, I'm like five foot five, but I've got really long legs. Like some of my six foot friends, we have the exact same like hip and the same length leg. So I just have a really small torso, a little tiny body and long legs. My nana used to call me chopstick legs growing up. And I got this really cute cup from Asda the other day. Oh, so good. I don't just go shopping, but if I could have my perfect life, which is what I'm manifesting, my dream life, then I would definitely have shopping days every single day where I get like house stuff, cute little clothes, accessories, little supplies for the house, little accessories for the house, such a vibe. And all I do is go shopping, sing songs, write music, and travel the world. And I share it with you. You're welcome. Yeah. This girl that I follow on YouTube, my fam, beautiful, beautiful YouTuber, amazing blogger. I started following her because she ended up with a penthouse in New York and her tiny little Pomeranian. Ah! That was like my absolute dream. She's living my actual dream, so you know I had to follow her. And ever since then, I was like, I could do this whole vlogging thing. And I've always filmed stuff, I've always wanted to do vlogging, whatever, but I just never like made the story, I never pieced it together, I didn't edit it. But here we are, 2023, the end of March, vlogging and living our perfect best lives. So, here we are, vlogging journey has only just begun. I do have a couple vlogs up, but this year we're going ham. We're going full on vlog mode. So if you've not subscribed already, subscribe, because we've got so much good content coming up. I don't know what it is yet. There's gonna be a vloggy. It's gonna be lifestyle. It's gonna be artist who is healing. Yes. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you about healing for artists. Healing for artists is something that I started in 2020. In the lockdown, I had a business mentor and we had to think of a business idea. And I thought of healing for artists, but I didn't know what I wanted it to be. So I left it on the back burner. 2023, it's a blog. It's a blogazine. Okay, it's the first blogazine where it's a live documentation of my personal healing journey as an artist. And I'm sharing all of the insights, all of the tips, all of the tricks, all of the whatevers, all of that. I'm literally putting myself out there for you so that if you're an artist and you want to heal you're a creative you do music you're a performer you are a dancer welcome to healing for artists this is a crazy journey i started having seizures this time last year march 2022 was crazy i was homeless i was having daily seizures up to like 10 seizures every single day like the full shaky body jerky seizures it was awful and now I've got a West End acting agent. I'm doing a UK touring pantomime as Princess Jasmine in Aladdin in an adult panto. I've worked for Netflix. I've done BBC. I was the lead character in a play at RADA last year. This is how I manifested my dream life, even though on the outside, it looked like this girl is crazy and her life is literally falling apart. No, I was like, I'm not gonna let like, 
three people in my life destroy me and that's the end. No. I am literally going to create my dream life so I can be an artist, make art, make music, perform, act, sing. That's my whole life. And I just travel for fun and I make content online. That's my dream life. That is what I'm cultivating here on Healing for Artists. So I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and follow along this journey because it's going to bring a lot of insights and value to you if you are a creative wanting to go into the space, wanting to learn how to be an artist and survive and not just rely on one person to give you your income. Like you have a solid foundation of making money all of the time. You make money in your sleep. So you're not relying on the acting jobs because honey, they are so inconsistent and they come in whenever they want to come in. They don't give a fuck. So if you want to be an artist and live sustainably, you're going to want to follow the Healing for Artists channel because this is where we're going to share all of the entrepreneur stuff, which is an artist who's an entrepreneur. What's an entrepreneur? I'll tell you in the next episode. It's going to be so good. Like you're literally not going to want to miss this. Anyway, my friend Beck is nearly here. We're gonna go to the forest, maybe, and have a nice catch up. This is completing the outfit. Just got this basic bomber from Primark. You know we're coming through with this white bag from Next. No, Next? Yeah, Next. I actually bought this bag because I knew that I was gonna manifest buying this camera. Didn't have the money for this camera at all. This is the Sony ZV-1. It's expensive, She's, she costs money. But I saved it and boom, manifested it into my life. I mean, I did literally buy it, but you know, I worked for it. I used all the money from my professional acting job to buy this camera. And I'm gonna put it in this cute, I'm gonna put it in this cute bag. So yeah, let's go. Just got back. I will say that the cafe that me and Becca went to was cute, but at the same time, it was like a British tapas. It was literally giving 2006 sleepover party where there's nothing but beige, which is fine, but it wasn't the vibe. You know what I mean? So it was cute. It was a cute little date, but it was really bland. Like it wasn't giving what it needed to give, which was a bit disappointing, but it's fine. Just got back home, I'm really tired, and that means I need to go have a nap and watch Modern Family so I don't get too exhausted, because if I do, I'll have a seizure. So I need to listen to my body, which, you know, beforehand, before last year, I would have gone, no, I need to push through and then done too much and then got completely scrambled in the head. So, we're listening to our body now, gonna have a nap, watch some Modern Family, probably take off this makeup now, which was a cute look. Maybe a bit on the orange side and just chillax, just chillax, and we'll figure out what we're gonna have for dinner later on. Something easy though, because I'm tired. I might not be tired after my nap. We shall see. I do need to get a card reader for my laptop so I can edit these videos. But yeah, let's do it. Right, I'm gonna take off my makeup now. This is the Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. smells good I feel like I've been using it forever and it's not gone down that much so we love that oh yes I always feel like as soon as I get inside I want to take off the makeup I don't want to have it sitting on my face if I'm not doing anything you can almost feel the spots forming which sounds so gross but it's literally true my face isn't used to having like too much makeup on and I don't like it. Like when I do shows, it's the first thing to come off. As soon as I'm off stage and we're packing down, like the makeup's gonna come off in one swipe on a makeup wipe. It just has to. We're trying to prevent having acne and lots of spots. So if that's what we gotta do, that's what we gotta do. I feel like I've been working look at my monobrow. Ah! I feel like I've been working on so many projects for a really long time, but I've not like, oh my gosh, this monobrow's got to go now. I've not managed to get them in action. I've had so many projects in the mix for a really long time. And I finally feel like 
it's all coming together and things are finally in motion which I'm so excited about and I have delegated I've delegated things that are not in my in my skill set and that's okay like for the longest time I was thinking that I need to do everything when I just don't like that's so untrue if I can afford to have someone who knows what they're doing do it for me to save me tons of time and energy and resources when someone else can just do it way more justice than I could ever and they can get exactly the vision that I'm going for. So I've done a bit of delegating, which is exciting. We're trying to get some music projects done because I've had music sat ready to go for three years and I've just, for different reasons, not been able to put anything out, which is very frustrating when like I know that my first release is probably not gonna be like a viral hit or whatever. I haven't built up the fan base, which is fine because it's gonna happen over time, but I wanna put out like high the highest quality songs that I can. Obviously, I'm not gonna put out trash for you. It has to be good, which is what I've been working on for the past few months. It's just getting those great quality songs in. It's just been a little bit stressful because unfortunately I got burnt by a couple of producers last year. Very, very annoying, very frustrating. It is what it is. I'm not willing to talk about it today. But what I will say is we've got some new exciting projects around the corner, we being me. And it's in motion. Not there yet, but it's fine. It's doing what it needs to do. Should I do a mask? No. But I will. I have this sauce from my last mask. It's a vitamin C serum. And I just feel like it's such a waste when you have this free serum. So you're going to think this is kind of gross right now. But it's basically like having a mask on. I'm so sure that you're not meant to do that. But to be fair, like... When I put on this extra serum, it always makes my face feel nice. And I sometimes like to put it in my arms. It just gives you that little soft touch that you need sometimes. You know what I mean? So, got that on. Gonna get into some cozy clothes. Put my jogging bottoms on right now because I cannot chill in jeans anymore. Tell me why I used to wear jeans all of the time. Even after like college, I would just have my jeans on. For what reason? Comfy. Right, let's drink some juice, do the Amazon order, and just chill.